government deadline given to sugar industrialists last month ends today. Even as the industrialists have claimed of clearing the dues, the sugarcane farmers are far from satisfied. There has also been serious disparity between the dues claimed by the farmers and the amount of money paid by the industrialist. The scenario means that despite the agreement last month, a lot needs to be done to address the issues of the sugarcane farmers. Good morning, I'm Amar Singh Pradhan and these are the headlines of the hour. Hearing on the core issues of the dissolution of the House begins. Lawyers demand for the record of the discussions held during the constitutional drafting process. The Election Commission starts preparations for election amid differences among the political parties, proposes voters' list on 28th of this month. Russian President Vladimir Putin's critic Alexei Navalny detained after flying back to Moscow five months after he was nearly killed by a nerve agent. And Lionel Messi shown the first red card of his Barcelona career as they were stunned by Athletic Bilbao in late drama at the Spanish Super Cup final. The hearing on the core issues of dissolution of the House of Representatives began from yesterday. Debating on behalf of the petitioners, legal practitioners argued that the Constitution did not give rights to the Prime Minister to dissolve the lower house with a majority. They also demanded for the record of the discussions held during the constitutional drafting process, saying that the Constitution does not have provisions and objectives to dissolve the House of Representatives in the current scenario. During yesterday's hearing at the constitutional bench, senior advocates Bhimarjun Acharya and Sunil Pokhrel, among others, argued that the constitution has envisioned the dissolution of the lower house only on two circumstances. They said that the constitution has not entrusted the prime minister to dissolve the lower house, which has a full term of five years. They also claim that there is no provision in the existing constitution that the lower house would be dissolved without completing its full term. Chief Justice Cholendra Samsar Rana asks the petitioner if it is possible for a two-third majority government to dissolve the House of Representatives in case there was no alternative to form another government. In response, lawyers termed the question as a hypothetical argument and added that an alternative should have been considered before taking the decision. The legal practitioners claim that the decision was faulty at the first hand and it was taken based on a political motive. Lawyers who had filed reads against the dissolution of the lower house met the demand for the record of the discussions held during the constitutional drafting process. During yesterday's hearing at the constitutional bench, which comprises five justices, including the chief justice, they argued that it was necessary to know about the discussions on the dissolution of the House of Representatives while drafting the constitution. Chief Justice Cholendra Samjar Rana, meanwhile, responded that the bench was ready to ask for the record if the discussions needed, adding that the bench had already noted the demand as the issue had already been raised earlier. The hearing on the case will continue today as well. Chairman of the Nepal Communist Party, Puspakamal Dahal, has instructed the leaders and cadres of his faction to join and intensify the protest against the dissolution of the House of Representatives. He's speaking at a gathering organized by All Nepal National Free Students Union of the Dahal faction held in the capital yesterday. Chairman Dahal said a vigorous protest was the need of the hour against the unconstitutional move of Prime Minister K.P. Sarmali. Chairman Dahal instructed leaders and cadres of his faction to prepare themselves to face extreme consequences during the massive and what he termed aggressive protest to be launched under his leadership. Chairman Dahal said only forceful agitation would compel Prime Minister Oli to step back from the regressive move, claiming that the Premier's move was what he termed an assassination of the Constitution. Chairman Dahal accused Prime Minister Oli of betraying republicanism and federalism. During the program, Chairman Dahal expressed his doubt over the Prime Minister's attempt to influence the court and the Election Commission with his power and position. However, Chairman Dahal clarified he had faith on the Supreme Court and the Election Commission despite Premier Oli's attempt to set up channels at all of these bodies. 
The election commission has started preparations for election amid differences among the parties over the dissolution of the House of Representatives and the proposal and the proposed election. The election commission proposed to publish the voters list on 28th of January during the all party meeting held yesterday afternoon. During the meeting held with the political parties to discuss several issues including updating the election centers and polling stations and the voters list among others, the election commission made it clear that it would carry on with its regular works. Major political parties representing the dissolved House of Representatives were present during the meeting call by the election commission. The disgruntled Puspakamal Dahal Madhav Kumar Nepal faction of the Nepal Communist Party urged the election commission not to move ahead with the election schedule, saying that the case on the dissolution of the House of Representatives was under consideration at the apex court. The main opposition Nepali Congress, however, supported the election commission's move. Prime Minister K.P. Sarma only dissolved the lower house on 20th of December last month and announced the two-phase midterm elections for 30th of April and 10th of May this year. Accordingly, the election commission has expedited the election process. And in our public voice segment, we had asked the local residents in Parbat district, why has the property of people who have been in various public positions for a long time not been investigated. Let's take a look at what they have to say. Sakti Kendra ke adma samrakshana ma unhiorle se moolaya kasan unhiorle kam garega kasan samrakshana prapta garega kasan. Tese baag ko unale pani aile samma banu na chhali saal dekhi yata pati banu tese banda agadi ka pani banu just akku dhangale sampati arjan garre ti bhakti orko sampati aile pani chhano na sakirayko chhai na. Mainat garre ra kamako ki tese kamako ki kosi kamako ba nikura thau dey na thau na baag ko unale kota ami phasin jagi. बन्ने डाले छान में नोदे ना पहले जन तेरी राजा रु जन में है ना बस्ते चार कोई जरूर रु चो समाज में सुशासन के ती नारा रु फक्त नारा रु चो आप हो आप हो मैं बस्ते चार गौरसन तोरा उन्हीं और ले पोल खोलना शक्ति इन्हें की ना कि वो मैंने चीरिंग चा उसी तो उरी साऊं चा बन्ने कारण ले Question is why has the government given continuity to the budget to be distributed by lawmakers in their constituencies even after the dissolution of the House of Representatives? And our options are option A plans already selected, option B political pressure, and option C intention to misuse. The voting is on. Type in WS, select your option A, B, or C and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. And it's now time for our special segment of the beat. Poultry farmers in Kavde have started the commercial farming of various species of birds including quails, turkey and pheasants among others. It may be noted that just a few years ago it was unimaginable for the local poultry farmers to think about farming any birds other than boiler and local chickens. Some youths from Saga Gavri had set up a poultry farm where they have reared quails, turkey, pheasant and some other local birds. The hatchlings produced here are also supplied to various agricultural farms across the country. The domestic farming of pheasants that were purely considered as wild birds started just a few years ago in Nepal and there are now three farms rearing pheasants in Kavri alone. Many farms are also making lucrative earnings by selling quail eggs. The veterinary hospital and animal health service in Saga have also provided motivational incentive to these poultry farmers. These farms are bound to cater to the changing taste of Nepalese meat lovers. The tourism sector that had remained disrupted for at least 10 months has started to surge back to normalcy. With the pandemic showing signs of relenting, domestic as well as tourists from India have started to reach Parsan National Park. These elephants who had a long layoff at Parsan National Park amid the pandemic have started getting busy again with a notable flow of tourists. With the opening of border, people from neighboring Indian towns have been taking their time to visit Parsan National Park. 
considerable number of Indian tourists visit Parsa National Park as they spend some quality time on elephant rides, observing some rare species of wildlife, enjoying the local delicacies and fresh air. The domestic and Indian tourists visit different historic and religious shrines located in Bara and Persa districts every year and the trend is also fast catching up this year, providing a huge relief to the ailing tourism sector. This is Sarah Chitrakar for our special segment of The Beat and Kantipur News Test. And those were our latest headlines. Stay with us for more news and entertainment. Good day.